Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so this week we have a beautiful, uh, very simple acrylic tutorial inspired by a midnight sailing trip. <laughs> so a little uh, journey to our imaginations today. I'm gonna be using my four standard brushes plus my trusty toothbrush here. So I have my large square one inch wash brush, medium sized pointed brush, and my two different sizes of detail brush, smaller and smallest. Uh, and then I also have an old toothbrush that I'm gonna use for some splattering, which is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, so look forward to that. The colors that we're going to start with for the background step, all I have is ultramarine blue, a little bit of violet purple, and some black and white. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in with our biggest brush. So we're gonna be creating our background first with a bunch of beautiful sort of after sunset colors, okay? Or midnight colors, I suppose. Um, but with a little bit of warmness still um, with our purple too. And oh, if you'd like to see a full materials list, there is, uh, I have a materials page on my website and you can check the description box below for that link. I'm just using canvas board today, like most of my classes. Just loading up that gorgeous ultramarine blue. And the first thing that we're gonna do for our background step is to create a horizon line. So I'm gonna go up about a third of the way. Wow, that was a very straight line. <laughs> so we're doing good today already. Um, but feel free to go over that a couple times if you weren't as lucky as I was that first time. And then I'm just going to go right over that horizon line with that gorgeous blue. And now right when the, right where the horizon line meets the sky, we're going to have a dark, dark, dark blue line. That's gonna kind of separate our two spaces there. So that's blue with a fair amount of black. I'm just gonna put that right next door. Right touching that blue line. Just like so, and you wanna make sure that the color actually gets into those canvas textures. All right, just pulling that right across, just like so. Lovely. Okay, so that's where the ocean meets the sky, gorgeous. So now we're gonna have fun up in this upper section and then also the lower section. But let's grab some black, a little bit of water always helps that paint go nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna come up into the upper right and left hand corners, kind of work my way across here and just start building my beautiful night sky. I wanna have plenty of black in there rather than it being like a watered down gray. Okay, and I'm just gonna start to bring it like the night is creeping in here along the sides, but we're gonna kind of have like our gorgeous Milky Way area here in the middle. So I'm just kind of making it almost like a frame. Okay, a little bit of darkness there as well. Let's grab a little bit of our dark blue. This is where it really gets fun. And you wanna work pretty quick with these kind of sunset type gradations because the paint dries quickly and you wanna keep that brush going back and forth or whatever direction you got going on. And long brush strokes. We do wanna go back and forth with this one today though. Little tiny bit of white into some blue here, just so that I can have a nice vibrant blue. There we go. Gonna come right in the center with that allowing some of that black to pull in too. It's okay, it's very dark. That's why we have our gorgeous light colored white and gray sailboat. We actually don't mind that contrast, okay? So don't be afraid to have dark, dark colors up here. But also, like sometimes the sky does look pretty blue, even at night. 
rather than just that black. So I think it does add a little bit more interest. But that looks pretty dark and kind of all one color. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more blue and try to kind of lighten up some areas. Just like so. There we go. I wanna get a little bit of vibrancy in there too. Grab a little bit of our purple as well. And just kind of sneak that in here and there. See here. I'm using a fair amount of paint because that black has a lot of coverage. But I like that. That looks very nice. Just kind of playing now. Whatever you'd like. Working with those three colors. Little bit of black on the sides here. Blending them all together. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do one more. Little bit of purple here and there. There we go. Very nice, very subtle, dark colored gradation today. Okay. All right, that looks looking pretty good. I'll take a little bit of light blue right where I'm going to have sort of my Milky Way and just do a few more light brush strokes. Very gentle. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's going to have a kind of a diagonal here for the splatter later for our gorgeous Milky Way. All right, let's go down into the water now. Looks like I used a lot of blue in my sky. But we want to stay pretty dark down here as well. But nice blue color here for the water. And then I'm just going to work my way down here until I get really dark with my blue here at the bottom as well. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more blue, one moment. Okay. Just a little bit more paint I needed to get this whole bottom part filled in nice and opaque as well. Okay, there we go. I wanna go down pretty far with that blue and then grab a little bit a very dark blue. At the bottom, because this is reflecting our beautiful night sky down here in the water. And these are just the base colors. We're gonna have lots of different textures here in the water later when we're done with our second part. Um, but right now it's just kind of a basic gradation create sort of that illusion of depth here for our ocean. Little gradation from a darker blue to a lighter blue. Okay, a little bit darker here in the corners. And since we had some purple in our sky, we should pull some purple down into our water as well. Once again, very subtle, because we're working with those dark colors. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and retire our big brush for now. And we're gonna do a really fun part now, which is going to be our splatters, which is my favorite part. Now to do that, I'm gonna grab actually our medium sized brush and some water. 
And I'm going to water down some of this extra white that I have here so that it's nice and watery and fluid for our splattering. All right, and you might need a little bit more of a table cover space here <laughs> before you get going because things are gonna get a little bit messy. So make sure that you clear an area. Uh, and I'm gonna take my old toothbrush and I'm gonna dip it into that white water mixture. And right along the kind of angle diagonal angle here for our beautiful Milky Way and then kind of up all through the sky as well and a little bit into the water because the water is going to reflect what is up in the sky and to go along that same diagonal here we're going to reflect that as a sort of mirror image here at the bottom just like so, that looks good. And I think a couple more sort of general ones and then we're gonna do a big splatter as well. So we're gonna grab that medium sized brush again. Same watered down white. Might need a little bit more. Adding a little bit of water into that so we have that nice splatter. Okay, and then loading up the brush bracing your hand kind of over the area where you want to go and I'm going to go on that same diagonal here with these bigger splatters <laughs> just like so a little bit down in the other water as well I feel like I got a couple kind of overly large splatters there So I think I'm going to try to just clean this one up a tiny bit. I'm not sure how that's going to work though. <laughs> just wanted to make that a little bit more circular. I like that better. Okay, and then a few little circular ones I think look really nice too. So I'm using the back of my brush there. Just like so, all throughout. Pour those nice big stars, very clear, night, so pretty. Okay, a little bit more. Getting messy, getting crazy. <laughs> kind of right in the center there. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and let this layer dry and we're gonna come back and add a whole bunch more in just a few minutes. So I'll see everyone soon. Okay, artists, welcome back. We have a completely dry, gorgeous splatter background here and fresh colors on the piece of palette paper. So once again, a little bit of ultramarine blue and then just some black and white. I also rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. All right, so we are going to tackle our lovely little dainty sailboat now. And I'm just going to grab my second two smallest brush for this. And we're going to start just with some white. I think I'll bring just a tiny, tiny, tiny pinch of black into it for a nice light gray and a little tiny bit of water always helps everything go a little bit more fluidly. All right, and we're gonna put our bow pretty much uh, like right here in this sort of empty space here. So we've sort of cr created this little spot that's just gonna be perfect for our boat. And I'm going to come down here into the water for the hull of the boat. I'm gonna start just with a gray line with a little parallel line right underneath. And it's going to come out further here in the front than it does in the back. And then you can go ahead and just fill that in with gray as well. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and just add a really dainty highlight towards the front, a little bit of a shadow towards the back, just to start to give that boat a little bit of definition, very subtle, 
very delicately I'm outlining that boat. So you can see since it's sort of far away, just those few lines gave it a little bit of definition already. Now we're gonna do the whole, or excuse me, the um, the post of the sail. I should always brush up on my terms before I do this. Um, okay, but we're gonna go right in the center here. And I have a dark gray line. Actually, let's go ahead and use our smallest brush. Since we have it, a little bit of dark gray to start. Coming up into the sky with this. All right, that looks perfect. Okay, and then a little bit of white. We have a really basic, gorgeous little sailboat here. We're just going to do some little white sails here from the back, just like so. And then just filling that in. Super cute. Just all white for now. And then we're gonna have a sail pulling us forward as well. So a little curve line coming to meet the front of your boat. And then we're gonna come up like so. And like so to create that sort of billowing sail look, which I just love. Very delicate little small area. So work with care. All right, very cute little sailboat. Darling little dainty boat on a lovely clear night. Taking a little bit of like an almost black. I'm just gonna bring that top line up a little bit further. And then I'm just gonna barely touch my white and add a little highlight onto that pole as well. And then really quick with some dark, almost black, dark gray. I'm going to go around that whole shape again, just very quickly along the outside of those sails. I'm going to add a very light outline, kind of more of a shadow. And then maybe a little bit of movement here in those sails, but you don't want to go too dark. Very subtle. Okay. There we go. If you do go too dark, you can always add a little bit of white right back on top. No worries there. Take a little bit more black into the hole. Very tiny little details here. That is looking pretty good. Let's do a little connector line there and maybe make it look like there's something going on inside the boat. Just with a little kind of quick painterly scribble. Very, very tiny details here. All right. And I'm gonna shadow right where the boat is sitting on the water as well. And I'm going to start adding a little bit of shadow here into the water. So I'm kind of going right around where that boat is so that it looks like it's actually floating on the water there. All right, and then since it's gray for the little hole part, I'm going to add a little bit of gray reflection right underneath and then take some white and go right underneath this sail on that side and then also on the front creating the gorgeous little reflections there so cute i'm thinking a little bit more shadow there in my sail just like so making it look like it's sort of billowing forward there Very tiny details. Okay, that looks cute, so like that. Just a 
a little bit more action going on in there with the gray. Just playing with black and white and gray. Nice little starter sailboat for beginning artists looking very pretty, very pristine. Okay, I'm gonna grab my second to smallest brush here. I'm going to work in my water just a tiny bit. All right, so I'm going to have a little bit of water into a light blue and bit more water so I don't want it to be very opaque very solid but I want to add a little bit of reflections here to make this part just really recognizably look like the ocean rather than as if we were just sailing in the sky itself but that is sort of the idea here right that's kind of what we're going for but just a little bit of horizontal lines here and there We'll just give, give that boat just a little bit more of a sense of place. Okay, that's looking really nice. Okay, and I think I'll take a little bit of dark blue. A little bit too light there. And do the same kind of thing right here at the bottom just to remind us that down here is water too and that's kind of that darker reflection here from the night creeping in from up top very gentle just a little bit all right that is looking really pretty A little bit more. Don't want to cover up my beautiful stars too much. There we go. Looking very pretty. Okay, final little touch here. Little piece of the resistance gonna grab my very smallest brush and I'm gonna have just a little twinkle to a couple of these beautiful stars. So a little bit of white. And just you're gonna choose a couple beautiful stars that you really want to highlight. We're gonna do a little straight up and down line like so. Turn it into a plus. And then we're going to create two little in-between lines like so. How cute is that? And then I think I'm going to go one other area, maybe right there. actually added another star. And for this one, just going to have those main four lines. Super cute. Now I'm thinking I want to add one more. <laughs> You can make as many stars twinkling as you would like. So cute. <laughs> Love it. Okay. All right. And that is all the instruction that I have for us this week. So I do hope you enjoyed this painting. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. If you painted along today, we'd love to see your artwork. And I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club. And we'd love to have you join us over there. A really great community full of supportive artists. And that is all I have for everyone. So until next time, stay creative.